Hi, my name is Gabby and I am the student director for Haunted House. We've been working really, really hard for this summer and we really hope that you guys will enjoy the experience of the play. And now Creative Drama is proud to present Haunted House. Trania, Trania, come out of the house. Come out, you smelly scum. I know you're hiding it. If you ever come back on from, I'll give you what you deserve. You're in there. You're ruining your master's house. Come out here, I say. Well, well, well. If it isn't Mr. Pig, you forget that you're in the city, not the country to which we're accustomed. There's no need to yell so. Please go back to your farm where you belong. Get away from the store. Are you waiting for this? Why are you hitting me? For being alive and annoying me. Oh, how I wish a mouth would come up. And when he does, you will see how you're eating him out of the house and home and wasting all of his money. That's a lie. I know you think of me as a country pop. Oh, you look upon yourself as a witty city chap. When the mattress discovers what a sneaky serving you have been, you soon be sent to country and iron. Go ahead and waste your mess good. Good. And encourage your son to do the same. Your time will come. Come. Was that what the master told you to do while he was away? Is this being a good servant? His son was considered to be the best behaved young man in town. But now, under your influence, he's an entirely different person. I don't see what business it is of yours what I do. Don't you have some cattle or pigs to look back after on the farm? If I like eating and drinking and staying up late, that's my affair, so there. He surely is a sheriff of South Ante. Boy, do you stink. What is that I smell? Pig, goat, or garlic? We can't all stink up a fiend like you. Jealous, jealous, jealous. That's what you are, my dear Grumio. Jealous, jealous, jealous. I'm doing well and... You're not. When the master comes home, you be hunted through the streets under a yoke. Oh, be quiet or I'll exterminate you right on this spot. Do you have far from me to take back to the cattle? You bore me, bore me, bore me. Okay, eat, drink, and be merry. Fill your bellies, you and the master. But when the master comes, be quiet. Go back to the farm where you belong. I'll have the father sent over tomorrow sometime. Now I'm busy. I have to go marketing for some fish for supper. Well, why are you standing there, bird brain? They'll be calling you away things before long. You'll see. Go away. Go away. Remove yourself. Go back to the farm. I can't waste any more time on you. It doesn't give a token for my morning. Oh, God. Please have the math come up soon. Both for the house and the farm go to complete ruin. It's been three years now since the master went away. Three years is a long time. As you all know, in a few months, all will be ruined. The farm, the house, and the master's money will all be spent. Oh well, I try to stop that smart lucky city servant. It's been nice chatting with you, but I'd better go back to the farm by my hard-working country servant. So I overslept. Yes. Once I was a mob child, I started throwing the discus and the javelin, fencing and numbers, but now I'm out of shape. The house is too, the beams are rotted through and through, but nothing can be done for I'm in debt. Guess I spent too much of my father's money. I guess I'm going to take a wee bit of a nap. I'm his best, best friend. Let's sing to him to wake him up. Help me sing. Mary had a little farm, E-I-E-I-O. Say, I feel a bit dizzy. Say, is anybody home? Hello, my good friend. Phil and Rocky, greetings to the best towel on earth. Why don't you sit down? I think I'll just go to sleep. It's all over, my friends. The master is returning from his travels. He's back. Jupiter and all the gods have turned against me. Does anybody in the audience want to take my place? I have a feeling I'm going to have a dozen spears stuck in my hide. Wake up, my dizzy friend. Trina was back. Now we can get something to eat. The lockies. What is the matter? We are dead. 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 We are? Your father is back. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, no. You're finished. 
Who saw him? My own two eyeballs saw him, that's who saw him. You actually saw him? Of course I did. That is the enemy of training, what shall I do? Wake her up. Wake up, Clitamatis, mate. Wake up, my father's back, wake up. Wrong with the father of Philaki! He'll live already. I'm the one who's dying. Let's have a little party. Get up and be quiet. Oh, training, when my father comes home and sees me in pajamas, entertaining a drunken pal, the house in bad shape and most of his money gone, Poor me! She's asleep again. Wake her up and let's bring Wake her up. Wake up, Kalutamani. My father is coming. Wake up! Where is he? Don't kill him. Then he will go away. Be quiet, you silly fool. You have us all killed. Let's bring her into the house. All is lost. Never say die, Kalakis. I think I have an idea. I suppose I can fix it so when your father comes, he never enters the house. I suppose I managed to persuade him to run in the other direction. Impossible. Listen, go inside the house and keep your silly friend quiet. Lock all the doors. Warn the servants to be absolutely still as if there wasn't a living soul in the house. Right. And nobody, absolutely nobody, must answer the door when your father knocks. Oh, trainer, I place all my life and my hope into your hands. Now, I will come, come upon the scene. Often I'm a good show for the old man. All hide here in the corner. Thank you, Neptune, for bringing me home safe and dry. Never again will I set foot upon your waters. I never want to set eyes upon you again. Well, I'm back after three long, long years in Egypt. I'm sure my son will be very glad to see me after all this time. I'd be glad to see some, someone bringing news of his death. Why is this door locked? Is it daytime? Open this door, I say. Who cannot be outside our house? Tranio, my loyal servant, Tranio. Oh, master, gentle master. At last you are safe at home with people who love you. Tell me, what is going on here? What, sir? There's no one at home to answer my knocking. Not a living soul. I bruised my knuckles pounding on this stupid door. You haven't touched the house, have you? Tell me it's not so. Of course I touched it. How could I help but touch it if I was knocking on the locked door? Alas, alas, all is lost. What ails you? You've done something most horrible. You must have a fever or something. Are you ill? What a terrible, impious thing you have done. Tranio, calm yourself and tell me, what is it I have done? Oh, sir, quickly come away from this house. I implore you, fly away, sir, fly away before it's too late. Are you sure you touched the door? Poor Tranio is off his rocker. Alas, alas, we've caused the death of... Who's death? Speak. You've caused the death of all your house. May the gods and goddesses cause your death for speaking this way. Quickly, keep those people away from the house. You too, keep away from the house. Quickly, cast yourselves upon the ground. Tranio, for the love of the gods, please explain what all of this is about. I shall. Listen. Seven months ago, we all left the house, and no living soul has set foot inside since. Why? Everyone get up and look around to see if we are being overheard. Yes, yes. 
We are quite alone. We'll look again, just to be sure. I tell you, there is no one about. We are the only people here. Oh, master, a horrible, horrible crime has been committed. What horrible, horrible crime? A horrible crime. An old and ancient horrible, horrible crime. What crime? What crime? Out with it. Listen, and I shall speak. Yes? Yes? One evening after your son and all the servants had retired to bed, there suddenly out a terrible yell. Uh, My son? Sunday? Please don't interrupt. Just listen. Your son yelled. The dead guest had appeared to him in his sleep. Really? Please don't interrupt. Just listen. Okay, okay. I shall be still. Not another word for me. The dead man said to your son, My host slew me and buried me in this house without benefit of a burial ceremony. You must leave this house, for it is a house of abomination. This house is no sign of sin. That is what the ghost said to your son. Hark! What was that noise from inside the house? Yes. What was it? I think someone's at the door. The ghost walks. Oh, merciful gods! The dead are coming to drag me to Hades! My blood is frozen. Those fools inside the house are going to ruin everything. If I'm found out, may the gods be merciful. What are you muttering about, Tranio? Oh, sir, quickly come away from the store. I beseech you. Fly away, sir. Fly away before it's too late. To where shall I fly? Say, why don't you have to fly away too, huh? I, I, I have made my peace with the dead, so I have nothing to fear. Hey, Tranio! Why do you call my name, Opus? It was not I who knocked on the door. It was not I who disturbed your peace. Tranio. What is the meaning of this? Oh, I'm so relieved. It was you calling my name. For a moment, I thought it was the ghost of the man calling out to me because you had knocked on the door. Oh, few your properties, Master. Do as I tell and leave. Do what? Cover your head. Don't look back and fly away. Aren't you going to come with me? I told you before that I've made my peace with the dead. I know, I know. But why are you so frightened then? Oh, Master, please don't worry about me. You go away as safely as you can. Oh, Hercules, come to my assistance. A pretty clever scheme, eh? It's been a bad year for me, Miss Agares, the moneylender. In fact, from dusk to dawn, I haven't been able to lend a penny to a single soul in the forum. And of course, I don't make any money on the interest. Oh my word, what now? This will finish me forever. That looks like Miss Agares, the moneylender who lent money to my master's son. The Lalakis. And of course, the money was spent foolishly. All would be lost if my master discovered about the loan. I'll speak to the money lender anyway, just to. Oh no! Here comes my master! Oh no! Why is he returning so soon? I really am in a mess. He mustn't find out. I must cause more confusion to confuse everyone. My dear audience, it's no fun to have a guilty conscience such as mine. Where have you been, master? I have just been speaking to the man who sold me the house. I hope you didn't tell him 
all I told you about the guest? I certainly did. Every detail. Oh no, my beautiful scheme is blown to bits. What are you muttering about, Tranio? Did you really and truly tell him? Everything. Does he admit what he did to the guest? No, he denies it all. D d denies it? The, the liar? The, the scoundrel? I think he's bringing charges against him. That looks like Tyrannios is starting to fill lackeys. They owe me money. I can't get a penny of interest from them. Where are you tiptoeing to? Uh, nowhere. I surely was born under an unlucky star. I can't have the master discover that we borrowed money. I'm full of misery, barring both sides. So I'll speak to them. It's a good sign train is coming towards me. Perhaps he has the money he owes me. A very good day to you, Mr. Gyrides. Never mind, you should be good day. What of the money you and Philakis owes me? Oh, be quiet. That's all you talk about. Sounds like you must have a scent for me again. It just so happens that you couldn't come at a better time, you old tightwad. <sighs> am I, or am I not, going to get the money you owe me? You mean to yell, for I know you have a lovely voice. I have a splendid plan that will solve my problem. Watch how clever I am, my friends. I have decided to involve my master in this discussion, and all will be well. You'll see, I will start a loud argument, so my master will overhear everything. Don't worry, you'll soon see how clever I am. My money, please. Why don't you be a good little child and go home? Go, go home? Come back in about an hour. Why should I run back and forth like you eat? I'll wait here for an hour. You obnoxious beast. The money, the money. Money, money, money. That seems that's the only word in your vocabulary. Not an inch out bunch until I get my money. Shout as much as you like. You're the most obnoxious vermin I ever saw. That's the only which is me at the least. This seems like a rather hot argument you two are having. Tranio, what is this money they keep screaming about? Silly money lender, this is the father of Philolakis, and I'm sure he will give you I'm sure he will give you the money his son borrowed from you. And I will take it. What money? Your son owes them a little debt. How much is a little? Well, about 4,000 drachmas. Does my son really owe them that much money? Oh, Master, saw you give it to him. Now let's get rid of this nuisance. And what has become of this? 4,000 drachmas? Oh, but it's there, all right. <laughs> well, if it's there, you can pay it. Well, it's not exactly there. You see, your son purchased a uh, house with it. Why, that's splendid. I'm delighted Phil Lockies is going into business. A very smart lad I have. What sort of house is it? <laughs> words fail me. What do you mean, words fail you? Oh, it's a beautiful house. Oh, Master, do pay them, or I shall faint by looking at their stingy face. Very well. I'll be here tomorrow, moneylender. Tomorrow I'll be fine. I'll come and return tomorrow. And may the curses of all the gods follow you! That moneylender nearly ruined it all for me. Stop muttering, Tranio, and tell me where this beautiful house is my son has purchased. Now I'm truly stunk. Answer my question. Excuse me, sir. I'm sorry. 
simply trying to remember the location of the house. Why is it so difficult to remember? If you're going to lie, you might as well make it a big one. Well, have you remembered yet? Yes, yes, it has come to me. My memory has returned at last. The house your son has purchased is the one right next to your own one. This one! Are you joking? It won't be much of a joke if he doesn't pay the money for the money lenders. Well, let's take a look inside. Knock on the door, Trania. Ye gods! What am I going to do now? This is the utter end. My lies have trapped me again. We can't enter that house. Come on, Trania, and let's knock on the door. I'm most anxious to look over the house my son has purchased. But, sir, we can't just barge in like that. The ladies of the house might have objections. Perhaps you're right. You see this is a convenient time for us to visit. I'll wait over there while you arrange things. He is constantly upsetting my plans. Well, here comes old Seema herself. A bit of look at last. I'll stand to one side and plan my next move. That was the best meal my wife husband ever cooked for me. I feel comfortably full. It truly was delicious. I think I'll walk into town before I take my afternoon nap. I'll fix it so that old Simo helps me out of the trap I'm in. Watch. May the gods cast their blessings upon you, Simo. Why, thank you, Trina. What are you doing out here? Why? I'm talking to the nicest woman in town. You. Why, thank you, Trina. But I can't say I'm talking to the nicest servant in town. Tell me, what's been going on in your master's house since he's been away? What do you mean? Oh, you know what I mean. All these parties, drinking, card playing, and spending your master's money so foolishly. I can't deny anything you say, but have mercy. For before you, you see a servant who is about to die. My master is back! And what's her word? Would you do me one more favor? Anything to help a drunk man. Would you let my master look over your house? That's a silly thing for him to do. My house is not for sale. I realize that. But my master is planning to enlarge his own house. I want to follow some of your plans. Since your house is so beautiful, why certainly he has my permission to copy any of my ideas he likes. The gods are with me! Don't you think I'm clever? Thank you. I'll call my master now. To your property, sir. Is it arranged? I understand you would like to look over my house. Um, um, yes, if it is not too inconvenient for you. By all means, go and take a good look around. Go anywhere in the house, just as if it belonged to you. As, as if? See how sickly she looks. Don't upset her more by reminding her you purchased her house. It will only make her more ill. I understand what you mean. You got a real bargain. So don't give the impression that you got the better deal. Don't say a word about having bought the house. Very sensible, Eutrania. Very sensible indeed. Please enter the house. Thank you. We will. Come, Tronio. I'm here to bring my master home. She's visiting fellow lackeys and probably been drinking a great deal. Only servant who is any good at taking care of her. And that's why she's good to me. Finiscus, why didn't you wait for me? Go away and leave me alone. Don't be so sure of yourself, just because you're the master's favorite. You know something? Look at you, just making my eyes sore. Very funny. I'm not going to get into arguments now. 
My job is to bring Kalinamati's home safely. You'd do anything to remain your favorite. I don't have to listen to you. I don't want any more of your lip either. Open the door. I'm sure Kalinamati told me she would be visiting her best friend, Bella Lockies. Well, Master, what do you think of the house your son has bought? I am most pleased. We certainly got a wonderful bargain. I deserve some credit, for I persuaded the Philalakis to borrow the money to buy the house. Good work, Tranio. But now, go find my son and tell him that I have returned. Very good, sir. I'll go and buy the back door and join my fellow jokers. I'll tell them how well I handled everything. Perhaps a little reward? Well, don't you think I deserve it? I certainly do. It's very strange what sound is coming from within the house. What are those two doing at my house? Why are they looking through the keyhole? I shall knock again. Open the door. I'm coming to touch my master, but I'm oddies. Just a moment. Why are you trying to break into my house? Why are you meddling in other people's business? Obviously, you have come to the wrong house. Our master is in this house. I'm drinking. We've got to fetch him home. You must not understand. Nobody lives in this house anymore. Whoa, doesn't that Phil Lockies live here? He used to live here, but he moved away some time ago. Lived here yesterday. You are most mistaken. Nobody has lived in this house for the last six months. You must be dreaming. You know that for the past week there's been a party going on inside this house. Tell me, who has been giving these parties? Philalakis. Duh. Which Philalakis are you speaking of? I think his father's name is Theoproperbadafridipidipides. Theoproperties. Same difference. If this is true, this will be the end of me. I must ask them more questions. So, you say this Philo Lockies has been hosting parties in this house, and one of his wild friends is your master, Helen Amadis? Yes. And then he bought the house next door. Wrong. But. He gave the owner a deposit of 4,000 drachmas. Wrong. Again. You found the man's father. You <laughs> have just of the death bell of his poor old father. Certainly has been living in great luxury and extravagance. The money that Phil Lackey spends is unbelievable. You have just brought his poor old father to the grave. Isn't anyone hearing knocking on this? Stupid door. Let's go. Let me tell you. Oh, oh, oh. This will be the end of me. All I've heard has burned my heart into hot, reddish cinders. Ah, here comes Simo. The one from which my son bought the house. Simo, I understand my son gave you a deposit of 4,000 drachmas. Your son. Then there's Tranio, his servant. He gave you the four thousand drachmas. No. Perhaps you had a dream about this? Oh, ye gods, I'm dying. This sounds like some of Tranio's mischief. Tranio? <laughs> Tranio has fooled me in a most disgraceful manner. Help me. Certainly. What can I do? Lend me some of your servants. Enter my house and pick who you like. Well, I got everyone of the house the back way, so that problem is settled. Looks like the jig is up. I'm trembling all over. 
Your trainium? Are to be punished! Grab him! Pick him to the ground! Hurry! Hurry faster! Did you, did you lose him? Give you one job. My money, please. you told are unacceptable. I will have to think of good consequences for what you did. No. Oh, 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 I know. Oh, dear, dear Trinium. I'll call your parents. <gasps> And the hope that you 